here we go. How you doing? Welcome back to Serene Madness. Uh, today we're going to do an unboxing. A big unboxing. This is something I've been waiting for for a while. And I kind of know what this is. Actually, I do know what this is. And it's going to be really, really cool. Uh, this was made for me by my friend Sal. And uh, I did previously cut the box open, but I haven't looked in it yet. Because uh, there was a lot of tape on it. This came today. And uh, ooh. Uh, he made it for me. I asked him if he'd make me one, and he did. And uh, I gave him. I gave him the design that I wanted and since I don't have the ability myself to make these because they're too big and I just don't have the equipment and the stuff to make them uh, I had to make me one so what's in the box and here's what's in the box Look at that. Awesome. Custom made battle axe. This is my own design. Um, like I said, it's covered with, still covered with all kinds of oil. I told him what I wanted, gave him a Gave him a uh, sketch of it, and he went to town on it. So there it is. This is the close-up of the head. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I just want to. Oh, I just want to wreck something with this right now. Uh, I forgot to ask him what kind of wood this is. This is Damascus steel. I'm not exactly sure what kind of wood he used. I gotta ask him. But it does have these brass and steel accents throughout the uh, design. And then he leather wrapped the handle to make it a little more grippy. And then it has a bolt down here that uh, you can use it as a skull crusher. This weighs about, I'd probably say about six or seven pounds. I'm not exactly sure of the dimensions. But uh, yeah, look at that. But he also made me a, um, wow, that is really cool. Oh, and I got a new ring today too, check this out. So yeah, what I'll probably wind up doing is I might add some kind of lanyard on the end of it, maybe hang some some uh, some like maybe fur pelts or you know squibs of fur or some feathers or something to make it look more beasty and like it's been hunting been hunting with it or something. It does need to get dirtied up and dinged up a little bit because it's new. It's really really new. And I want to make it look used, so I'm gonna have fun this summer taking this thing out and um, wrecking some stuff with it. Yeah, and that is really sharp too. Wow, that's awesome. I think the head on it, from tip to tip, I think that's about 10 inches. I think that's what I told him. I think that's like 10 inches. This is about. Actually, do I do remember what the dimensions are? I think this is 22 inches long from handle to tip to tip on the handle, and I believe this is about 10 inches long, something along that line. 22 inches, 10 inch uh, head. Like I said, it's about seven pounds. 
and uh, he's not done. He made me a sheath. Now the sheath he made me, he made a sheath to another axe that I really, really dug. And um, the axe sheath that I saw had some fur attached to the sheath, which I kind of thought was kind of cool. So I asked him to do the same thing with this. So what he did was, is he uh, made me this brown leather sheath and it is shoulder carry. So you can carry it, hang it down, and then uh, he did he attach some uh, fur to it. I kind of like that detail. So yeah, that's pretty slick. So yeah, there it is. My new battle axe. To add to my axe collection. I have two axes now. I have the Bad Axe by Cold Steel, and I have this one. And I also have a, um, a uh, SOG uh, Tactical Tomahawk, so I can add these. I am going to display this on the wall when not in use. I'm going to make a display for it. So that's kind of cool. So I hope you liked that. I sure did. Um, well, in my next video, which will be soon, soon, soon. Um, I am going to be doing a Gara giveaway. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I'm giving away. It's just going to be an off-the-cuff thing. So tune in for that. That will be my next video. I am going to start doing videos on a regular basis. More videos. I'm going to try to get in it like at least three videos a week. So keep an eye out for that. <coughs> Hope you liked it. Find your serenity in a mad world. Coming at you. I'm out. I just fucking shot myself. <laughs>